Yay. Getting my shit together. One thing that I didn't do, which it's on my list of things to do, but I didn't do it today. I need to like physically clean my controller. People should do this every so often, like maybe once every um once or twice, twice a year. Seems fair, right? Hello, you're welcome. Welcome to stream. Hello, how are you? Hoping that you are well. Good, good. We are just going to be stealing for the first uh, first hour or so. Caffeinated, good. It's always good to be caffeinated. Just like one of my newest followers, typically caffeinated. Okay. So, um, we've established, like the guide, um, basically it's a no material run in the guide that I'm following. Because, right, we're doing a low level run, no one above level 28. In the guide that I'm following, that was recommended for use on RA, this is actually a no materia run. We are using materia. It's not um, excluded from um, the, the Chibo, so I'm definitely going to use it. And in the guide, because you can't equip the, the, the steel materia, you can't steal anything. But I can. Now in the guide, it says, oh, buy lots and lots and lots of Molotovs. As demonstrated at the end of the last stream, Molotovs are okay, but, um, right arms? Ooh, baby, right arms are what you want. You see, there's a, that sounds like madness. Yeah, uh, the, the, the low level run, um, honestly, low level runs shouldn't be in main sets. That's just my uh, opinion. They should um, be in, like, optional sets. So, we're not going to aggravate Mr. Bomb because he is very angry when we do that. You're allowed to say LL. Yeah. So, um, the big thing here is the guide, like, it doesn't say for me to, to do this, but I'm doing it because it gives me a huge advantage. Um, you see by stealing right arms one right arm excellent is the, the equivalent of three molotovs really uh, let me have a look at the the bot all right you've been naughty all that i can see kaluya Thank you, sir. I'm caffeinated. Can I not say LL? Did it even go through? Because you can see, like, it'll, it'll give you a warning or something. There's nothing... No message from the bot or anything. Okay, I see that. Yeah. Um... Oh, well, it's just that in this particular, um, guide... Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but like, I'll, I'll show you. I don't usually show people my mod view, but here. Nothing's been caught. So, I don't know. Sometimes, like, comments just, um don't get through it's weird it's weird no, that's right yeah as I was saying Molotovs like um, they only target one enemy uh, whereas the mold are uh, the right arms they uh, target the entire enemy group so they're like an extremely desirable item to steal no it's all right 
sometimes it happens to me and I'm like, what the fuck? And I definitely derail chat because I feel offended when, like, uh, the bot, like, uh, fucks me. But, um, yeah. You have every right to question, what the hell going on? Why is LL banned? <laughs> That'd be like uh, maybe going to Sark's channel and typing in Jump King. I'm certain he'll ban that term after after the stream. I'm certain. Poor guy. Oh no. Alright. We're gonna get rid of the big bird. Um, kill you. Alright, can we get rid of one chicken? No. No. He did yet? <laughs> oh dear. All right. That's unfortunate. Fucking chicken. Alright, I'm gonna have to use a right arm. Oh wait, no. Cool. Of all the formations and all the enemies. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Hate it when you do that, fuck you. Ah. Oh. But that's also because, um, you know, the guide's saying, oh, no, no, keep, keep Cloud dead. And I'm like, well, mm, I, I kind of don't, like, it's a bit risky, like, only having two, like, I might get stuck. The guide's like, no, no, no. But the guide's like, you know, it's, it's almost like speed running. It's like, fucking go here, fucking go here, 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 run, run, go, go, go. And like, it doesn't give like any detail. And you're like, oh, well, what if I wanted to do that? It would make more logical sense just to like heal up everyone so we don't get caught out because we're low level running yeah so what we're going to do here is we're going to give cloud one of our precious phoenix downs and we're going to heal and then we're going to save Done. This should prevent the kind of uh, situation that just happened. Should. Should. Good. Give me all the bombs. Thank you. That's one. I don't want any chickens. Just give me them bombs over and over again. Over and over and over and over and over again. That wasn't the song, I'm just being an idiot. Give me your right arm. Please. I'm so glad I got that Kate Sith game over one. Oof. I hate I hate anything that's like just so it feels so RNG. It's not RNG, it's like, it's kill a skill, but it's like, it's so frame perfect. Disgusting. The last time I tried to do grinding like this with music in the background, like, whole sections of my vital were muted, so... That's why... We have to suffer through this uh, fast forwarding and yeah.
It is what it is. I've also um exposed my PC library. Hallelujah. My Steam, my GOG, and my Epic Games library. Every single game I own on those platforms. I've detailed them on my website. So that if people want me to play them, then they know where to look. Just give me right arm, bro. Uh-oh. No. He gets angry if you hit him. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Could you, like, give me your... your shit now? Talk about holding out. Put out. Put out. Thank you. I know I said I loved you, but I lied. Tee -hee. Fuck. Okay, chicken. Okay, Molotov. Uh, how about right arm? I'll, I'll waste one. Look how devastating it is. It's a lovely attack, that. Don't give me chicken. told me to buy 50 tranquilizers and I'm like why do we need 50 tranquilizers there, <clears throat> there must be a, a trick there must be a trick and I'm all about it I'm all for the trickery but I tell you what Bobby having the cursor change from standard to memory it's opening up new possibilities of laziness for me. Mewson came through like uh, two streams ago with like just tip after tip after tip. I'm just like, wow. I know nothing about this game. Thank you, sir. Poor man. Sir or man. You're not Aerith. I uh, had an excellent breakfast today. Bit of an unusual breakfast. It's something I might usually have for lunch because it's so filling. But I um, had like a grilled cheese, tomato, and egg sandwich. Mmm. Times two. Times two. So two eggs are involved. It was uh, exquisite. 
Thank you. What I like about this strat is that stealing the right arms, like he just he just he's so passive about it, he doesn't hit you hard. He's like, oh well if you really want it. Just take my right arm. Maybe I should have Yuffie do this because Yuffie is like um, level 17. So her dexterity would be pretty high. Compared to Aerith, at least. And it's not like we're trying to defeat enemies here. I'm just trying to jack their shit. So I suspect we will let the Master of Stealing do it. Oh, he's just sitting there. He's just like all passive. He wasn't even attacking me. The fuck was that about? It's like, oh, you guys are my friends. Oh, we we'll just stare at each other. Okay. Taking Baron out then, I guess. Um, what you got? She's going to party. So what we'll do is we'll put the, the hard edge back on. Yeah. That way you can get more material. Excellent. Um so let me confirm my suspicions. Yeah, Yuffie's Dex is the best. So, uh, that's that. We'll switch around your material. Yep. So the Yuffie is the one that steals. Good, let's save, because she never know if my fuck up again. 
Thank you. Nice work. He's the difference maker. Her dex is like double that of Aerith, basically. My my shoulder buttons, they're they're so like I don't think they're damaged. But they definitely need a cleaning. I may also need new, um, because you know the, how it rests on rubber? I may need to get, like, replacement rubber things, because, like, my ones might be, like, completely mashed. I don't know. Alright, two more. Let's get it, Yuffie. Hmm. Oh, and uh, we got a new follower uh, offline after um, reconnecting with the guy. I thought uh, I would um, show the follow alert in, in the chat because why not, huh? Even though I, I know a lot of people like to lurk. Like that, like I don't want to be seen. Therefore, I will follow you offline. Like, but in this case, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll kind of put him on the spot a bit. So this should renew the um the follow alert. So Super Chris World, thank you for the follow, and this is what you would have seen if you followed me while I was streaming. That's the good
cold look, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Bye bye. The Yuffie Factor. Make this, make this shit go quick. Thank you. Fuck. I do have like another Xbox controller. I'm seriously thinking I'm just like straight out swapping it. Hmm. I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I've used this for um, how long? Oh my god. Ten years. Ten years plus. But these sorts of controllers you can't find nowadays, you know. And I use them because they're just they're ultra, ultra compatible. And they just work, you know? My control pad being the uh, Xbox 360 wide controller. These things, they just work. I might actually like look online to uh, buy like a brand new one in box, but like, shit's getting expensive. I know a lot of people use like the wireless controls now, but uh, I ain't about that life. Bye bye. We at 14 or 13? 13. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's an arms race. Fucking Yaffi putting in work. I just want to leave her in into the in in the. Yeah, whatever. Yuffie best girl. Done super quick. <laughs> the buttons are so like non-responsive now. I don't know what to do. I might 
when I get to 20, I might dig out my spare. And I'll clean them this tomorrow. I had a black one of uh, these uh, controllers. Exquisite. But, uh... My brother didn't appreciate it. I, I have no idea what happened to it. Probably instantly sold to a second hand shop. Pearls before swine. Eighteen, two more. That's getting kind of busted. Kind of busted. This is like free tendies. Holy shit! Like getting this item at the right way, getting it. This is free tendies. Oh! Alright, one more. I like how he's just sitting there now. He's like, please take my right arm. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Yuffie. Based Yuffie. That was based and super chill. Recklessly based. That was awesome. To get that many um, right arms. Disgusting. All right. Um, next. So okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm also having a look at like several different guides. Um, okay. The next uh, Fort Condor battle. Uh, battle number four is after obtaining the buggy. You obtain the buggy after you break out the pri uh, the Corral prison at the bottom of um, the Gold Saucer. So, um, in that mind... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, um... I think we can give you a wizard staff? Um, okay. Right. We could give you that, but... And we could give you the W machine, but could give you the four stealth. What we'll the point would that be? Sneeze time. Very 
Pretty sneeze is not bad. I'm getting a little bit heated in here. Stretch. Yeah. Buy 20 Molotovs, 50 tranquilizers. Place them at the top of your inventory list. Then right arm, and then grenade. Twenty, twenty right arms. We're playing with some serious power now, boys. Boys, girls. Did I save? Yes. Let me save again just to make sure. Boy from I Am Kailuya, 2023. Uh, alright. So, Aerith's Tifa, Barrett. Sell off all equipment in your inventory except for bronze bangle. Do I even have the bronze bangle left? Nah, no, I saw that shit. I don't know why they want me to have the bronze bangle. Okay, basically it's saying, go to, um, Gold Saucer, trigger the events that get you arrested, and then save. Okay. Let us proceed. At the way. Barrett just wants the easy way out. Diane had it right. All this peer pressure. You know what I just realized? Corel Prison. That's uh, Corel, the, the ruins of uh, Barrett's uh, hometown. And then right above it, the fucking golden saucer. Hmm. 
Shinra is just no damn good. No damn good. to plan several terrorist attacks that killed many people, so... Yeah. There ain't no winners here. I think this first cinematic going to Golden Saucer is special. I think. Yeah. This is the only time we see this save here because each save is 5 GP. Getting in you need 3,000 I think. I think you need 3,000 don't you? save. We'll go through Barrett's little story. Look, it's fine. This is why we constantly save. <laughs> Forgot about that little caveat. In fact, it's not mentioned. It's, it's not mentioned. I guess they assume that you would have that much money, except I'm doing things my way, just like Frankie did. I did it my way. All right. In the bitch. Sell, sell one ether, you degenerate. There we go. We now have the, we now possess the money to do things. Yes. Do we want to do anything at, um, at Golden Source the first time? I honestly don't think so, unless we wanted to do that basketball game. But I'm not so good at the basketball game, and we can't save Scarlet. I'm good. There'll be time to uh, play games at the Gold Saucer. There will be time. You have to understand. How the fuck would they get away with burning an entire 
village to the ground. I don't get it. Can I skip this cutscene? No. I'm assuming that Neon Sun left as a ghost. Anyway. Please let us in. Oh, I didn't realize that. A 10,000 uh, GP limit. Straight to the Chocobo uh, racing. I think we get a Wonder Square, and we get, um, we meet up with Kate Sith. I think that's the, the whole thing. That fucking white cat. Mm, tempted to put in a rude name. But it's not my policy to change and then in your underpants. Reason for a character to join you. I hate hates it. I hate him with a passion. Hate. Hate him. Alright. 420. He's got a silver. Silver armor. We can have that. And Cloud can have the silver. Yes. Yes. Alright. Um. We now have to go back to the mill, I think.
or is a battle square? Yep, everyone's dead. Bonk. You're dead. dead people give her a potion uh oh doesn't look good for Barrett Way to heaven. Hmm. We only see this um, area once. Into the hole. Now, apparently, like, there are bandits here that will steal your shit. So it says to go straight to um, save spot. Sith. No one cares what you have to say. Literally no one. Oh, finger in the bum. Now I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that there's no bandit here yet. We can go down here, I think. Fallout shelter room kind of thing. Okay. Does it want us to just go straight to the um the thing? I think they're talking about like bandits in battle like there's a little shit that like tries to run up to you to steal something I think maybe um but don't worry about that it's when you get um the bandits in battle they can steal things and then run away and that's not good and that's no good They're saying, they're saying to equip a bronze bangle on fucking 8 Sith, but I don't have to. I'll just give him like uh, anything else. It's it's fine. Enter the house, Simon. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, so here's, here's gonna be a race, I guess. I guess we could talk to this fatty. Okay. Run away. Just run away, it's not worth it. Yeah, these bandits. Don't touch me. Good. If they have initiative and they steal something, then it's like, okay, well. Okay. You can go into the desert, but we can do that at any time, really. Right. Save point. Nope. See how he runs after me? He's running. Nope. Good. Do, look, do they want me to uh, give the, the XP to Aerith or to Cloud? It doesn't say who to give it to. Dilemma. Okay, well here. I think they want me to give it to Aerith. think. So Cloud dead. Barrett dead, I guess. Or, Cl or Kate Sith. Kate Sith dead. And XP to Aerith. I'm guessing like Aerith is like going to be the XP dump for, for most of the battles, which is expected. Okay. So, oh, Baron has the rest of the, uh, okay, okay.
I think I gotta go into that um, house on the right. If I go into the truck, it's uh, like a heal spot. Run away. Yep. I never really gave it much thought. I never really gave it much thought to the fact that um, the ruins of Corel is like, you know, Corel prison. So this low level run, I assume you just run for most of the bells? Yep. I'm also following this guide here. Uh, a Garland. Garland G. And I think he's a known, um, like he's like prominent, like in early Final Fantasy speedrunning, so... I trust the guide, it's just, um, you know, it's old, 2007. By the way, ST Loka, um, I know you got points, and I'm thinking, I think I remember vaguely, way back, you said, um, um, maybe not retro, I'm not into retro, like, if you've got other PC games, right? So, what I did today, I spent hours on it, um, what I've done is I've made some pages that you can visit um, and it has my PC gaming collection for Epic Games, for GOG and for Steam. So for example for Steam it's got every game that I have. Yeah. So if there's something here that you would like me to play doesn't necessarily mean to badge but yeah. Um, all you need to do is just um, do the must play or must badge within the store page. And uh, yeah, and you can access this easily from uh, the Twitch page. So I'll show you that. Twitch.com, my username, and then about. That'll take you to the panel section. And I put it down here. So direct links to those pages. And then what's the easiest way? You could probably claim through here um, in the store. Okay, must badge or must play. Must finish. I should do a must finish separate badge as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that between streams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I noticed, I noticed that you're right near the top. I'm thinking, oh, is it because like you just, like you've got something in mind or, yeah, I don't know. Like, because uh, um, the highest redeem is like the, the must badge, which is 69,000 and you've definitely got that. So I was like, hmm, hmm. Not saying that like I'm trying to force you to use your points. That's not the point. Um, I always did intend to allow people to made me play modern games though, so. Would you accept like a more modern RA game for us? Yeah, yeah, sure. Anything that I'm able to emulate, I, I will try. So like um, N64, PlayStation 2, um, um, Arcade. I'm not really up on setting up Arcade, but if someone does redeem an Arcade game, I will try to learn how to, to, do, to do it. Like I'll, I'll make it like a point of contention like, my homework to make it work. Yeah. I wouldn't force you to must badge a PSP. Yeah, like um, like Crisis Core. Ooh. Some of the um the PSP ones they can get a bit. Mm. Ah. You know one um, what was what was one recently that I was looking at um, like a more modern badge. I think someone has started working on this Suikoden Tear Crease badge for um. DS. I always loved that game. That's such a sick game. Yeah. Did uh, Lifted ever uh, badge that? I know that he was playing that for ages, but I'm not sure if he ever badged it. That looked like a... It's one of those games where it's like, nah, I don't want to badge it, thank you. Like, it's like doing Final Fantasy 12 for the um, PS2. 
Like, eee. Eee. That one, it's got like, what, 500 Chivos or some shit like that? I think Retrosexual is like, I'm um, slowly going through it, but... Yeah. Anyway. Barrett, no! No! You, you can shoot the cat. You can shoot the cat. Damn it, Barrett. Yes, but I thought that this was, this was the ideal opportunity for me to, um, to badge this. Once I do the low level run, and I also do the two that I wasn't able to get the last run, namely the Ghost Ares and, um, Four Condor, I do that, that, and I complete the low level, I get the badge. So, that's why I thought, you know, But yeah, if you've got like um, a particular set in mind, I probably won't say no to it. Like if you if you're like, Logi, I want you to badge Holy Diver. I'd be like, really? Is that really? <laughs> is that really what you want me to do? Oh yes, yes, definitely. All right, the story of dying. Thank you, thank you. I mean, would I refuse it outright? I don't think I'd outright refuse the game, except like if I look at a set and I think, oh, 300 achievements takes three, 300 hours to badge, something like that. Like I'd be like, uh, look, no. Some of the sets are just like truly ridiculous, but yeah. Oh no. Corel Bernie. Bro, what happened? Yeah, that's a fire, dude. Yep, let's go back to the village. Let's let's save people. I'd like to give you a fire emblem game, but want you to have time to look at the set before I spin. Okay, okay, okay. I can appreciate that. Fire emblem is like an RPG series that's been on my radar. I wouldn't necessarily uh, say it's been on my bucket list, but I know that it's very popular. Otherwise, there wouldn't be like by the eight fire emblem characters in Super Smash Brothers. Someone is about to get their arm blown off. Tactical RPGs. I don't. And plus, if you just want to see me like finish a game, that's a cheaper redeem as well. So if you think like the the sets like oh, I don't know about this one, you can just maybe do the must play, uh, the must finish. But I'll, I will add the must finish. I admit that that's maybe not. It's, it's not so obvious. Like, I put all the curated games at the must-finish tier, but I should probably just have it explicitly as a, a thing to click on. I just wish that stream elements would allow me to properly order everything, because I'm, I, I, I can't. And it, it looks horrible, and like, I want everything to be in order. And then every time I press refresh, like, it just, it goes bleh. It really irritates me. I mean, like, if I go here, like, I would maybe, like, move something here, move something there. Can I show you the actual? I probably can. From here? Stream store. Yeah, from here. Like, I might order something, like, here. And I'm like, oh, excellent. 
Uh, I want it exactly like that. Save, then I refresh, and then it's like, bleh. It didn't, didn't save a goddamn thing, and it's so irritating. I feel like it's a problem that has been on this website for years and will never get fixed. So, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. But it is frustrating. It is frustrating. I got a new right arm with infinite bullets. Imagine Dine joining us. Dine's like the uh, the General Leo of this game, I guess. Oh, you know what? You can only battle Dine with Barrett. So Barrett has to win this battle. So that's why I didn't mention anything about it. Derp. I am derp. Yes. Yep, 39,000 for must finish for all games. Uh, that being said, please don't choose like one that's like, oh, it takes 120 hours to finish. I gotta be like. <sighs> but I mean, I, like, I looked at most of my, most of the games that I've completed and I'm like, okay. Like, if I sit down and really concentrate, usually it only takes me like between like less than eight streams. Some of the outliers are obviously the big RPGs like Final Fantasy VII and uh, Golden Sun. But uh, yeah, most games it's like it's between four and eight, and yeah, I can handle that. Okay, so we got these three, but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be Barrett one on one. Be careful. Tifa says, be careful. Naki says, hmm? What does Yafi say? Yafi probably says something like, fuck off. Typical Yafi. And what about the rubbish cat? Everything's perfect, you son of a bitch. Alright, I think we go out here. I think it doesn't matter. Uh, where's Dine? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it seems like a lot. But I mean, like, um... What, Final Fantasy 7? People might say, oh, that takes like 50 hours or whatever, but... No, clearly it doesn't, if you're just like trying to do the main story stuff. Do I even regularly go into this place? I don't. What do they have in this place? I don't usually come here during my playthroughs. Oh. Okay. What about you? Talk me. Eh, talk me. Talk me. Oh, uh, here? Nope. Oh, 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 let's go back in. Can you talk to me? Can you talk to me now? Talk me? Talk me? Talk me? No? Okay. Maybe you can't talk to that person. Okay. Is there a uh, side door? No, no side door. But well, Emblem's a good game, but rough. At least that particular game, I see. So, like, you, you're thinking in particular of... Because I know there's heaps of Fire Emblem games. You're thinking of um, a SNES Fire Emblem game.
but then again, you know, you are, you know, if it's that particular game, I'll have a look at it later. I don't think there's anything to beat her. Like, it's, it's only when, like, the game's extraordinarily long, or if a set has, like, way too many Chivos, then it's like, oh, come on, man. Why? I think I have to go up this way, don't I? Yeah. Says so rough, I won't give you the set. No. Once I finish it, usually I'm like tempted to try to, to badge things, but I think Haseo has caught on to that. So now I think he only wants to redeem must finish. And then I will like try to badge. But uh to spite him, I don't think I'll do that anymore. He's he's caught on. He's caught on to my compulsive nature. Do not steal from me, thank you. This one's been shot too, cool. Yeah. Because, like, the way that I look at it, once you do, like, a full playthrough, like, maybe sets, like, got 50 or something, and then in a normal playthrough where you're not really trying to get everything, it's like, oh, 35 out of 50, and you're like, hmm, I could badge that. And so, it, you know, you try to calculate how much time it will take, etc. Uh oh. Did I do oopy? Uh oh, I did oopy. Oh no. I don't want to have to fight the fucking worm. No! Oopy! Oh no! No, and I don't have to fight the cactus either. Oh shit. I, I've got to like keep automatically doing this, otherwise there's a chance that it just outright kills me. Where's my Chocobo carriage? Please save me. Ah. Mummy. No. Eh. Oh, to ah. Oh, 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 oh. No, don't do that. Bobby. Leave me alone. Oh, fuck. I will, like, if I have to, I'll, I'll relay the save. I don't think it's gonna be that bad, though. I think my chariot awaits me. all kinds of effed up. So where's dying? No. No, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. Is it? Where is it? I mean... Where? It's- it's not... No, two thieves, no.
Almost certainly it's on the previous screen. Oh, baby! <laughs> Stealing my Mega Elixir, bro? Ooh. Oh, all the things to steal. You devious little shit. Oh, imagine if he took it, though, and he just vanishes like la la la. Oh my god. I, I would have. I would have reset. At that point, it's like, okay, no. How we don't play that? How we do not play that? Where is? Okay, wait, wait. I think I think it's uh, through here. No, through here. Never seen you I'm not interested. No. Yeah, I got guts. Cool. Now should I Nah, this is this is fine. I mean it's not. Let me just uh Thank you, Aerith. Thank you for the hookup. Oh no, don't steal my shit. Don't steal my shit. Of all the things to take to the Megalix is the like B1. Right, so he's not in that house. What am I missing here? He must be back this way. He must be. Right. So here... I'm consulting a guide. Uh, FF7. Where is dying? Holy shit. This is sad. Because I don't want to keep running into like these constant battles. It's just it, the chances of me being mugged are too high, and it's not like a normal playthrough where I I, I battle things like a hundred times just to get gill. Far left gate, go through the gate and head right. Far left gate. Okay. Talk to this fool. Okay. Obviously, you can only see this area one time. Now, you see how I learned um, match and magic then? But because the enemy was not defeated, it doesn't go on the enemy skill. Defeating an enemy means uh, gaining XP. And apparently with the under, under level 28 challenge, you're cutting things 
razor fine to begin with. So it's not like, oh yeah, I'll just have like a, a battle here and there. Because a battle here and there means you'll fail the challenge. So that's the level of fuckery we're dealing with here. Please no. Oh shit. Right on the cusp. Where are Dines blasting? Nah, dying. Nah, that's not really an excuse. You're just a strap murderer. Oh, my life is so empty. Oh, guess I better kill everyone. I'm gonna go burr. So, Cloud is dead, but Aerith is still alive. I'm wondering if uh, by keeping her alive, she's going to share XP. If so, I have to reset. So in the guide it says, I'll oh, use a couple of uh, mollies, but um, we've got some right arms. So was it? Molotov, Molotov, High Potion. Molotov, High Potion, Molotov. Yeah, nah, we're going to use some right arms. Well, one right arm, one molly. Take that, Dine. Take that, you son of a bitch. Oh shit. <laughs> he didn't like that. There we go. Alright, good. It's only Barrett. Time for uh, dying to uh, fly like a bird. Back. Beck. Beak. It was also my pee pee. It's crazy old world. This darn crazy world shucks.
which would make my girl cry. Bye bye. Yep, he done. He done. He done and he did. Exactly right, Barry. Your hands are downright filthy. How many dozens of people you kill with your terrorist shit? Wow. Hey, Mr. Colts. Just a buster. We gotta go up against, uh, what's his name? Joe? I'm not sure if he has like an extended name, like Chocobo Joe or something. I think it's just Joe. That's the other best choice for this, uh, because his hair looks like a chocobo. So. I happened to hear your story while I was just wandering around the prison. Okay. Okay, Esther. She's basically dressed in Lolita style. Why is she like prowling the, the fucking prison? It's so weird. of an easy clap. Easy clap. Just give me a save point, please. And I will be taking that um, summon material. I think it's Ifrit, right? I think it's Ifrit. Hi, Joe. I look forward to beating you with my golden chocobo later. I like how we intimidate him. He's like, fuck, you're in death for a day? Jeez. You must be some kind of terminator machine. Just killing everything. Rama. Rama Rama ding dong bing bing bong. Alright. Is this just gonna be like a... Get nothing to say? Cause you was a bitch, that's why. Alright, no one wants to talk. Alright, okay. I gotta wait until they all go through. Alright, alright, alright. They won't let me through. What does Esther come out? I'm back. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Good. Um, I think I got it. The memory is vague. <laughs> I, I I don't think I'll lose.
Damn it, I forgot the um You know what? Okay. Uh that. I forgot um you've gotta like hold down a button to get back stamina. What is that? Hmm, I think you gotta hold down like um the, the shoulder buttons. That could be another reason why my control pad's fucked. <laughs> Uh, two, whoa, whoa, racing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say anything about racing. I took the racing stamina. Come on. Tell me what I want. R1, R2. No. Check out racing recharging stamina. Okay, go on. R1 and R2? Okay, now this is pissing me off because it's saying, oh, uh, R1, L1. And other people say, no, no, um, R1, R2. Like, oh my God. I swear to fucking Christ. I guess if I F up, then I can just reset. So, yeah, let's just, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go. I'm doing all three. <laughs> R1, L1. Run, my little bitch. Run, run, or you'll be well done. I win. Hee <laughs> hee. He called me boy. Bye bye, Esther. Uh, yeah, this will do. All right. It's time to go back to Four Condor. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> So we 
cross back here. Go back through the coast of Seoul. Uh, Costa del del Sol. Costa de Sol del Sol. Stow away for 100. Do I have 100? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Then I think uh, the closest or the quickest way out is by helicopter that can place you outside of the city. I am a shit. Outside. And just like that. We're at a tad tap. We go back to Fort Condor for this infuriating. So I'm just having a bit of a rest. Oop. Get back in there. Boop, beep, boop, boop. Oh. I need to physically get out. Physically. Another battle? Perfect timing. Shit. That woman to have 4,000 at all times. Okay, okay, sure. I need to sell some things. Hopefully, we have enough to sell. I'm hoping. Also, silver armor, silver armor. Okay. Hmm. Carbon bangles? That wasn't as bad as what I thought might happen, but 
It still would have been easier if I had stolen some ethers. Or perhaps gotten rid of some of the right arms, but... Why is that such a... You must have full thousand. Ooh, we can't start. Ooh, you've got like... You're sitting on 15k. Bruh. Big chicken. Strong unit? Oh yeah, cool. Be sure to um, deploy a certain type of unit. Oh no worries, I will definitely not do that. So here's the strat. Okay, right here. Now notice, um, 400 gil. If they survive, I get 200 back. But with, um, oh no, that catapults are 400? Maybe I got my math wrong last time. Well, maybe everything's going up in, um, price. And set a, a bomb, low power. And shoot from far. Defender. So fighter is like, um, no weaknesses, um, not weak, not strong. It's, it's, um, it's perfect. This is the perfect unit to use, in my opinion. So we, we put one there, right? And then, um, apparently, once you start, you can keep pushing the line further down. So it's like down, down, down. We'll place like one here, then another one here, and then the majority of the units on this line here. We'll pull like, um, three, 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 something like that. Right. Do that. <laughs> I think we ran out of money. It's fine. Very nice.
Nice. Pretty strong, huh? The lamp's so fresh, you can suck my notes. I should get half my money back. Mega Lixer. I mean, overall, it's like, yeah, it's pretty good, but I mean, after the dupe trick. Yeah. Okay, the next time we have to come back to Fort Condor is. Um, after our party is sitting at the, the, um, the campfire at uh, Cosmo Canyon, and you're prompted to form a party. At that point, we have to go all the way back. Oh, we have to do that. Yeah, we have to do that without the buggy. We have to walk back. Ooh. Ugh. Also, I'm going to have a quick toilet break. Quick toilet break. I will go wee wee. Up he gets. I'll save outside. said I'm just going to go to the toilet real quick and I'll be right back. Take it away. Yeah rem remember the entire point of this whole playthrough is to get the last three Chivos. The last three Chivos being complete a low level uh, run where no character is above level 28 by the end of the game. Um, the ghost Aerith glitch at the end of disc 2 and also the Fort Condor battles. <clears throat> I got screwed on the Fort Condor battle uh, achievement during the main playthrough last time. And I'm making sure that we're getting it done this time. Yeah, but on that, yeah. We're just kind of going through the motions, really. And I'm wondering if we need to steal something. Because in order to do these uh, battles of Fort Condor, we constantly need um, a guild. So I'm just wondering, like, where's the most profitable? FF7 most uh, profitable steel. I guess you can look with me.
I don't think... No, I won't have access to this area until I get to Nibelheim, which is after Cosmo Canyon. Mm. Oh, Harpy as well. That's a pity. Not only do they have the striking stuff, which I actually do have, but um, they have that uh, Aqualung enemy skill. That's a shame. Um, hmm. Well, yes. I think, uh, how much do the right arms sell for? I guess we can check. Go back to Junon and try to sell some. Because otherwise I'll just look for ethers. Mm. I tried to speed it up, but you know, it's linked to a perspective change, the fast forward key. So. I think here is the item shop. You ain't shit. Alright. Um. Oh. Alright, it looks like the most profitable thing to steal then is still going to be ethers. So. How many of them do we want? I think, uh, yeah, we'll do our plan from last time, which was, um, going back and forth. Yeah. You, you'll see my plan in a moment. through the caves. Okay. Now in this area, this is like um I guess that it's still counted as the calm area. And you can get formations of, uh, I think it's called Alpha Dunk. And they're one of the easiest enemies to steal ethers from. So, we're gonna get Yuffie back in, actually. Yuffie is excellent at stealing shit. Apparently. Uh, right. Baba Barrett. Got the steel. Alright, yeah, we do. Are there some shitty ones we can kind of? Let's let's get rid of that. Yeah. I mean, it's not a shitty material. It's just that we can't really use it. Quite literally, we can't use it. Okay, the goal here is to get as many ethers as possible so that we'll be okay for um, future four condor battles. This um, enemy formation is what you don't want to see because you'll get your ass beaten because the Moo has an attack or sewer which is like instant 200-ish damage and at low level runs that equals game over fun fact you thought you were slick? nah
Just like that. It can go it can go awry very quickly. Can we get like the two or three of the ducks now? Thank you. Makes things a little bit easier. Thank you. This not bad. Um, save between everyone because you could get that formation with um, what the elf? No, it's either called a levicron or an elf. No, well, the ostrich looking bird and two of them mew. And if you don't run away fast enough, potentially you could get two sewers in a row. You get a party wipe, so.
Might be a chance for a rare three. Should say yes, yes, yes. Twenty ether should be enough. I think I was meant to go one down. Yeah, I was. It's fine.
cubic chicken. So, 10 ethers when I sell them. One is um, 750, so 10 would be um, 7,500. Go for about 24. 'cause is good for a defense but not for um dishing out pain. But that's a good thing I think. In this particular circumstance. Make it ten. We guys all them. Basically saying, "Hey, what's up, boys?" And I'm like, "Nah, mate. <laughs> Not even if I wanted to. The only reason I would want to fight him is to learn his enemy skill. And killing him is just—it's too much XP." It's a nice crit that you did. A dirty, disgusting bird. Thank you. 
Do I want him to... It's fine, I'll do that side battle. Okay, 11 more. That zone and trying to eat my dumpy. Nope. Not the level four suicide. Or do you see it come up in the distance? Big braining this uh, low level run. For sure. Sixteen, another eight more. Which should be ideally three battles. Four four uh, maximum.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Six more. Yes, sir, get that ticket. But be enough to win it. Bye bye. Say one more battle again? Yeah, one more battle. Oh, this pack of birds. A wild pack. Roaming the plains, trying to snatch eyeballs. Just in time.
Fuck. Give it up, bitch. Filthy birds. Give me your treasure. You hang in there, oh. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. That's a lot. It's 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 a lot like life. Master and servant. Yeah. R.I.P. Andy Fletcher. Oh, I didn't, um... I didn't utilize their bed. I was going to utilize the bed. Derp. Utilize the facilities. As I please. Hello, please. Hello, please. Please. Mm. 
Right. Excellent. We shall now continue on with our quest. We just need to go to... Del Sol via Junon. So we give this guy ten mil. Probably cost more than ten guild just to operate that elevator, but whatever. A guard's got to make some money. be wondering is it worth checking the shops now? Not really. Good same ship. this way. Or do we? No. We don't have to do that anymore. Here we go. <clears throat> Long gagak. Long gagak. Don't touch. I think we could steal Earth Drum. Ah. So. Let me pull it up. Basically, basically, this is what we've got left. We've got the Fort Condor, which we messed up. Well, I, I, I insist I didn't mess up. I feel like um, it's not explicitly uh, stated what you need to do for this. So I, I gave them money to fight their own battles, but apparently that doesn't count, so... You have to go to every single battle. So we're doing that this playthrough. Then there is this one. Um, because I talked to the innkeeper at Nibelheim during the calm flashback, this disabled Ghost Ares. So Ghost Ares is like a... Um, I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's meant to happen, and I think it's an, a, a poignant moment. Um, however, talking... To the innkeeper in the in the flashback fucks it up. So I'm gonna get that one. But the big boy is obviously this one. 100 points, low level challenge, finish the game, all characters under level 28. 
once I get these three Chivos, I get the badge. So that is what we are fighting for, Mr. Haseo. That is, that is what is on the line here. So yes, technically, unless someone redeems something, it's going to be a bit more Final Fantasy VII to go through. But um, for this challenge, um, not a lot of battling. Did I pass Wongaga? I must have. Wongaga. There it is. Now let's skip Gongaga. Why I do this? We can't steal. Yeah, these two talking about like, oh, who do you like? Oh, I like uh, this girl. Oh. No, she likes Sing. What? But Sing likes Aerith. Mm. Yeah, talking about sexual things. And Ellen's like, eh, man, it's so stupid. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I did save, I did save, but... Do they want me to give the experience to whom? Or do they not even talk about Gongaga? Shit. No. They bypass it entirely. Oh dear. Stay away from Gongaga as you don't want to fight the Turks. <laughs> However, I did save. Just a little bit of pain. Just a little bit of pain. That's unfortunate. Finished. You wonder what they were? Off brand rice bubbles. It's a difference between nine dollars Australian and two dollars fifty Australian. They taste perfectly fine. I'm doing everything as fast as I can. Miss Gone Gaga. I missed up.
Almost there. Time to get the um, total paradise flies. Anything here? Please. Shoot, bro. I think sometimes uh red 13 chills in there at certain parts of the game. That's my candle. Hmm. I can't recall what the shop up there sells. Might as well go there and look now. You can get to the back of that disc three and no earlier. I don't know why I had to buy 50 tranquilizers. I'm, I'm sure that this will become apparent to me later. G-Tribe came. <laughs> I'm the last of my race. Except, uh, spoiler, at the end of the, the game, he can somehow have baby. And I'm like, mm, I don't think you're the last. Just a hunch. I think he was able to um, impregnate. Tell me, Grandpa. His mate was uh, Bungan Hankin. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so Cosmo Canyon 4-5. Um... Sector 5, Slums, Kids Room, first poster. Second poster, uh, Shinra Headquarters, first floor. Where was number three? Calm? Might have been Calm. I'm pretty sure I've got all of them thus far though. Unless it's in Gongaga. It's in Gongaga. Ah. Uh, I'm buying all this shit.
myself. Shinrabina. Yeah, we can sell a few of the Shinrabina. Performed the bar glitch. He's like hanging out here. First dialogue, first option. Second dialogue, second option. And then go out the room, rinse, repeat. And then that way you can touch tips with Barrett at a gold saucer for maximum sexual fun. Need my help? Mm. <laughs> that material sucks. So that's why um, in Junon, it's probably best to try to aim for the HP plus because it's 8,000 whereas the, um, the Force Stealer, which you can buy I think in Costa Del Sol or somewhere close, it's something like 2,400 and it's like, oh, I want the HP plus bro. Alright, what, what other shit can I, okay, Force Stealer, okay, that's like double, I just don't, I'm not, Seeing a situation where we will use this on this ship. You know what I mean? Maybe sell the hard edge. Because he's not going to use that again. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Even if I have to do another ether run. seems like only yesterday that we did this mission. That's because it kind of was. Sorry if people find this very annoying. I find it annoying that I have to do a low level run to get a badge. But uh, yes. Okay. Is this the point where we can get the, uh... It might be now. Let me save. So, in terms of like Fort Condor fights, available after your party has sat down by the fire, campfire in Cosmo. After, okay. It's not quite yet. We gotta do the observatory bit. Of so, go in here. We talk. Can we talk? Oh, 
doesn't really matter who you take, I guess, but for story purposes, I reckon just take uh, Ares, who wants to know about her ancestors, and Barrett, who has an interest in the planet. Even though he's not the best student. Tifa doesn't need to know. Yuffie doesn't need to know. And Nanaki already knows. Right. Listen to the words of the elders to learn more. This stage, this should be when I should be able to go. Let me see if I can go outside. They won't let me out, alright. Sitting down. Let me out. Let me uh, motherfucker. All right. I'm gonna talk to everyone now. I'll use this opportunity to equip everyone with their good shit. That way I'll have more things to sell. I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T.
I didn't get her upgraded thing. I could now though, technically. to save and then see if I can get the hook out. Actually, no, 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 sell some stuff first. Are you still fucked? Right. We have to go all the way back to uh, Fort Condor on foot. That's a conundrum. How do I cross the water? Do I need um, a, a chocobo lure? And then capture a, capture a cro chocobo? That can cross water? Is that what's necessary here? Because you see, like, I have to go right now. The next battle is after the Cave of the Gi. So I have to go now. He's fucked. I made a critical error, didn't I? It did. You're not meant to take the buggy past the point of no return. You're meant to kind of just like leave it, but not drive past Cosmic Canyon. Perhaps only an hour's worth of progress has been lost? Maybe less? But that's the only way to cross back. You need to have the buggy. Yes, life. <laughs> well, not only that, like, there's no warning. It's like... You're only like aware after you've done it and then potentially after you've saved over a save that like uh, it, you know, like if you, if only you didn't save over a save, you would have been fine. But because like you're thinking, oh, okay, about this point I need to save over saves. Like I did. 
Uh, it has to be done. It has to be done. Unfortunate. Fortunate. But it's not like we're starting the game again. You know, from scratch. It's not that level. It is... I, I, I don't disagree. It is pretty brutal. But, um... I think, like I said, oh, I messed up. I made like an extra save. So maybe, maybe we actually will be okay. I'll show you what I mean. We made this one here. So that's only an hour's worth of progress. Here I'm busting my hump for Ethan. Yep. Yeah. Which is still good for me to, to do. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll continue to do that. It is like literally. Like probably an hour's worth of um, progress we've made. We've probably lost an hour's worth of progress. Um, but that just, it happens. There is this growing trend where I watch you play games I've never played. But should play. Now I never want to play them. Well, you can still play them, just don't try to go for a badge. Some of these sets though, man. Some of these sets. I think I've just been seen the whole of FF7 now in a deconstructed form. Yeah, you probably have. Not just from me, but from other places. Yeah. By the way, um... If you have a look in my about, um, you know where people put their panels on their uh, page? Um, I've put in a new link. I've replaced the Marvels on stream link with um, links to my game library on Steam, GOG, and Epic. So these can form part of a future must play or must um, finish requests. Or must badge. I can fully understand why it's beloved for the time. These graphics must have been amazing in the mid-90s. They were. They were. It was litty. It was litty. Some people say, oh, you know, it, combat's so slow. I need it to be 60 FPS. I need to be fast as possible. I might like, actually, no. I would prefer it to be like this. Slow. Much luck with the ethers. Come on. That's not a computer, that's a potato. You got scammed, dude. Steal either. That's getting laid out. He does have a punchable face. 
but that's no excuse to actually actively go for him. Shit. This is tremendously unlucky. Please give me your shit. Thank you. Thank you, finally. Square has a problem with unlikable. Yep, yep. Cloud and then uh, Squall. And then um, Zidane. They, and then Titus. They really... Oh. And uh, Lightning. Maybe Lightning gets away with it because she's like, you know, kind of a cutie. But uh, her personality anyway. You know. Yeah, they don't seem to have much luck, do they? The square curse. Not to worry though, if they're chasing NFTs, I'm sure their company will be uh, in good shape in a couple of years time. Because everyone's buying NFTs. It's a great store of money. Please. Yuffie, please. Yuffie, come on now. Yuffie, please. And steal it now. Steal it now. Steal it now. Um, that YouTuber Paolo in Tokyo. Sorry. Did a day of day in the life video of a Square Enix staff member. Oh, I'm sure that must have been interesting. I wonder what sort of like corporate message they wanted him to portray. It almost certainly isn't the reality. Those sorts of videos. Like, they would never show the, uh, you know, crunch or anything like that. All this for three ethers. Disgusting. You birds make me sick. What do you mean, you birds? Finally. Yeah, she showed all the cool stuff, and she was an artist rather than a programmer. It's the programmers that do the, heart, the heavy lifting. Level design, character design, um, you know, uh, like enemy AI kind of piling, stuff like that. Like, they're the true backbone of games companies. Artists, look, no. I'm sorry if this offends people, but artists, they can be uh, hired and fired very quickly. Sure, there's some like special people with a special, I guess, style that might be desirable, but. Like, the art that they draw doesn't really translate so so well into games, I don't think. They use it as base references, or they put it in, like, you know, art books for the game. It's like, ooh. But programmers are the ones that make it happen. And uh, their jobs are um, seriously fucking stressful, I would imagine. I'm just thinking about it now, like... It's kind of pissing me off now. The fact that we have to do this again. I'm like... Man... All because I forgot, um... To, uh, not bring the buggy all the way up. Oh, 
it does seem that the artists are stepping up a bit now. They're having to make some stuff that can be integrated into the games, though. Hmm. Defend. Healing Wind. Steel. I feel like, you know, you know, we're, we're putting in some serious work towards these Achievos, but goddamn, do they, uh, do they grind? Like getting um, sets of two of these enemies much more manageable than three. Three is a bit of a juggle. In fact, I mean, if if it if I don't get back attacked, it's fine. But I usually back attack, and it's like, oh, you, you little shits. See, they do it again. Just can't stop back attacking. I'm gonna kill one. Bitch. Just give it up. Give it up. Give it give me. Just give me. Give me. I wanna say that thus far, I think the Final Fantasy badge is the most arduous badge that I've got, I've gone for. Simply because of the um, the forced um, I'll use that. Simply because you, you're forced to play it again. Um, but <laughs> Metal Gear Solid wasn't easy either. Sorry, Metal Gear. God, I hope someone doesn't give me Metal Gear Solid one day. Good game, but I mean. God damn. Bye bye. Bye bye. Time to go. Oh, time to go. Time to go. I have to get into the habit of saving as well. Okay. 
I'm wondering. I'm gonna be lurking for a bit. No worries. I'm thinking that um, yeah, that I'd have to do the uh, the prison again. But now that I know exactly what to do, I, I won't be taking as long to get out of the prison. Yeah. It's just this um, grinding for ethers here. So we can afford uh, all the nice stuff later. If we just deal with one of them. Another 10. I know it's excruciating. It is excruciating, but... Then again, there were people that, um... were watching me do, uh, the, uh... Iron Sword achievement. Or like a, what was it, a 10 hour stream? There, was, there were three streams where I, it looked like I had not made much progress at all. Like I think 25 hours roughly overall on that one achievement and 20 hours on stream doing that Chivo. That was a rough one. That was a rough one. Progress. One hour's worth of progress, damn it. It's okay. You get back on the horse. Let's get out of here. Number eight. All right.
No. Baby, give it up, give it up, baby, give it up. Na 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 na. Baby, give it up, give it up, baby, give it up. Come on, baby, I need you. These battles be taking too long. Wasting my motherfucking time. Thank you.
Level 5 and we'll do more battles. What a critical error. Oh no, don't touch my peanuts. Ooh, I've heard. Did you ever watch Mark play Golden Sun? He got to the point where um, they were asked to go on the journey. He said no, and the game ended. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. I mean, it was funny. But that was such a long time ago now. Like, literally? Check this out. This shows all the games I've completed on stream. So if we're talking about um, Gone Sun, we're talking June 25th, 2020, August 23rd, 2020, 12 streams. So. But honestly, for me personally, this was like a rough patch for my stream. Because, uh, gone son, gone son. Starting June 2020, ending February, the end of February 2021. I think there were, what I was doing during this time was I was doing multiple games. And I, after this, after this, I was like, no more. We're not doing multiple games anymore. Like, we stick with one thing and we fucking end it. And I think that that's, like, a a good way of going about it. But yeah, Golden Sun, like, um, it's a good game. It's a solid game. It's good. It's good. Give up your treasure. I've been telling you that playing a ton of games on rotation wasn't working for you. Yeah. I thought it was like fun, variety hour. But true, like if people want to tune for one thing, they will, and then if you do something else, they're like, ah, fuck this. Don't care, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is unfortunately exactly it. <laughs> Ether, I got you now, bitch. You get the chop. You get the chop. Yeah. I think a lot of people will tune out from my tune, uh, from a lot of my streams anyway, because if I'm doing stuff like this, it's very much a put in the background stream, I'd say. I mean, I'm here to talk to people, it's just uh, people don't want to talk to me. It's like they'd rather just have fun fantasy in the background and kind of, you know, just chill, relax and watch. Or go between various people, that's fine. At, at first, I was like, why aren't people talking to me? What am I doing wrong? And then I realized, oh, I'm not doing anything wrong, it's just that that's Twitch. 
people lurk and watch and a lot of them don't want to interact and that's fine it's fine it definitely threw me through a loop because I'm very much a person that will be like hey what's going on um I'll be present in chat and try to talk to the streamer. Or, or people within the chat. So. But it doesn't need to be like, you know, always, you know, talky, talky, talky. You can just hang back, it's fine. We just need one more battle. One more battle with two of those uh, Levicrons. Excellent. We're out of here. It's weird for me to play a game like this in the way that I'm playing it. I don't like it. Damn it. Yeah, I'll be clear. Right now, it just feels like uh, familiar homework. <laughs> now, because I've done that, I'm going to double check that there isn't a battle. But I think I think there isn't. this just to see if they've spent any of their money. If they've spent money it means that you've missed a battle. Yeah. 15,000 is what they should always have. We need 3,000 for each battle. Oh, but when I try to get into battle you're like, oh, do you have 4,000? Do you have 4,000 though, bruh? Okay, by my reckoning, um, we're at the point where we exited the prison, because otherwise why would we have the buggy? So we don't need to do the buggy, we just need to go to, um, uh, Cosmo Canyon and Miss Gongaga. Okay, we didn't, 
actually lose on too much progress, which is the advantage of hyper saving. Hyper caution. <laughs> skipping Gon Gaga. Well, that means skipping out Titan material. It's fine, it's fine. It's all fine. I think Flatbeat might have Ether. But they hit too hard, so I'm going to flee. Lovely. Should we use a precious Phoenix down to revive him? Precious. I could have used different magic, can I? That. Yeah, I could have used that. I will next time. The place to the. Can you see it? That, um, house? That's for, um, the Great Gospel. And Keystone. For the Temple of the Ancients. We don't need to worry about that yet. Skip Gongaga? Reluctantly? Obey the guide to the leather, otherwise you'll get fucked. Truly? <laughs> That's not an exaggeration. I'm, I'm leaving the, the truck there. I'm leaving it there. Um... And I'll save here. Overwriting it. Excellent. Do I need to go that far? Probably not. I feel safer doing it that way though. Show me your dog's genitals, oh my bad, thought I was mute, do do. Oh. Elixir in here. Talk to anyone else? My coward father. Uh, read. Uh, 
Imagine a job ad being that um, self-deprecating. Wouldn't that be a fucking breath of fresh air? But no, no, every company's like fucking. You should be grateful to fucking work for us. Suck my dick. I think we lost half an hour's worth of progress, and that was only because we're getting the ethers together. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Bum, 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 bum. Please, Grandpa, I'm 48. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la.
after that, after Cosmo Canyon, we have to go back to Fork. Well, yeah. That's the whole reason why we did the restart. Yeah. Sorry, it's getting late. Yeah. Mind wandering. I'll probably go to bed at 1 30. Because I want to start, you know, regularly waking up at 8 o'clock. I've started having um, toasted sandwiches for breakfast. They're like lovely. No, I um I do them in a frying pan. Just as easy. I um put um margarine on the outside and that sears them. Or well, you know it gives it that like that look that it's been cooked properly. Yep, cheese, uh, cherry tomatoes, um, and what else did I put in there? I put an egg today, and that was just like, oof, oh baby. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I might do that, but the thing is, like, that's a lot of mayo, you know? And, um, inside of mayo, there's a lot of sugar. So I'm thinking, why don't I just use, uh, you know, low-cal mar uh, margarine? But, you know, I think both ways are equally valid. I might try, like, one, one-way margarine and one-way, um, mayo. And it's also the case to be made for um, uh, butter as well. There's also another case to be made for making the bread um, French toast as well. So French toast, toasted sandwich. Ooh, that's that's getting a little bit like hardcore. That's like ooh. Usually, like I'll have one or the other. I love French toast. French toast is so good. Ah, oh. Ham and cheese, hand fried, and tomato soup. That sounds awesome. Makes my mouth water thinking about it. saving I'm saving on a different slot okay I'll override this one if the other one doesn't fuck up but I have to know all right good good we can go back all right all this for a fucking achievement suck my dong work my shoulder buns are they need to clean they definitely need cleaning we would not try to kill cloud thank you
It's alright. I'll revive her once we get to a fucking Port Condor. Oh, I can revive her right now. No, I can't. Hee hee. Do 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 boo 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 How much money do we have? Okay, good. fine now. We're a-okay. These guys are also 400 gil, but low power. All my fighters, boys and girls.
game thinks it can be clever, huh? See, they tried. It was like, can we get to the middle group? And they're like, nah, no, you can't. Child than my guys, eh? Not loud. About thirty enemies, you say, eh? About thirty enemies. Destroy him. And win. Yay. Fire potion, thank you so much. Thank you so much for my fire potion. I should also, like, add to my notes here. Sorry. Because, um, while I do have, like, when I'm meant to go there, like, I I didn't write down the reward for each one, and that would uh, help me track this a little bit better. This shouldn't take too long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're bigger. First re reward is the magic comb. Second is the peace ring. I think you can only find uh, one more of them. Three ethers for the third battle. They call it tincture in game. A mega elixir. And this time five. Oh, they say it's uh, five high potions. It's still shit. Like, would you prefer five high potions or one mega elixir? Yeah, thought so. Okay, five bones. Battle seven is Yuffie's Super Bowl. Interesting. Three turbo ethers. These rewards are really bad. Five X potions. Again, another bad reward. Okay. 
battle 13, 3 elixirs. And then battles 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you can't physically go to. So that's good. Battle 19, 3 elixirs. Battle 20, non-existent. It occurs during the events at Medeal. And then Battle 21, it's the mandatory last battle. That's when you get the um, Phoenix Materia, as well as the huge Materia. All right, that's good, that's nice. Excellent. Thanks for your indulgence. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, is it bedtime? Uh, not for me, not yet. Uh, I'm gonna go another half an hour. Sorry, what I was doing was I was um, adding to my notes on uh, Fort Condor. <laughs> As you can imagine, I definitely don't want to be chasing down the Fort Condor Chivo in a third playthrough. No, this is enough for me. How much money we got? No buddies. So, what we gotta do now is we gotta go back to Cosmo Canyon and clear out the Cave of the Ghee. After we've done that, we go back to Fort Condor. Fun. So much fun. Need like a. These rooms definitely chill, and if yeah, it's it's one of the better Final Fantasies for music. It's different, like uh, it's the first uh, chance they had at like truly CD quality orchestral music. So I think they put like, um, specifically Nobuo Uematsu put in one hundred and ten percent, as you would expect. Because I mean, he was doing his thing on um, you know um. 16-bit consoles, and that's well and good. Or was it an 8-bit console? I was pretty sure PlayStation was like 32-bit, but whatever. Like, he was already doing his thing for um, other Square um, projects, but... You know, this is his first chance to really, like, say, look, here I am. I am Nobuo Uematsu. Uematsu. Listen to my music. I don't think it was just him, but I mean... Imagine if it was just him. Too legendary. Although I love that emulators have made everything available to everyone. Was there something else to that comment? Maybe something about like it, it's taking away some of the magic of gaming? I mean... Um, that's the thing with Twitch chat. You never know when your comment's going to get gobbled up. I'm wondering if I should actually go play, get a PS2 and play a lot of the classic PS2, PS1s on that. If you're, if you're talking about actual hardware, well, I guess so. I mean, 
it's it's pretty difficult to find like um, fully backwards compatible PS3s that can do PS1 and PS2 because they took that ability away. Yeah, I mean, if you really want the hardware experience, the PS2s are dirt fucking cheap, especially in Japan. Oh, but then again, like you're in Texas. Um, but you have the ability to, you know, navigate those sites and to get them on um, Yahoo Auction and stuff like that. Yeah, it is ugly. It is ugly. Compared to, like, um, PlayStation 4. Yeah. I completely missed the PS4, um, generation. Completely missed it. I have no idea what games are on that console. Don't care. It feels like it's too similar to what was released on PC. Like, I feel like if it was released on PS4, it was released on P uh, PC. Not a lot of ex- Mm. Excuse me. Not a lot of exclusivities. Exclusives. I miss PS3 and PS4 generations and have no cares for it. Um, PS3 generation. Oh, PS3 generation. Look, trust me. There's some solid gold on PS3. Like um, The Last of Us. Playing that for the first time. Ooh, what an experience. Um, there were a couple other games that were like, you know unique to PS3, and we're just like, wow. Everything I want on PS3 and 4 is on Steam at 80% off eventually, yep. This is true. That's why, um, when retro collecting, um, like, my approach to it is, um, get the consoles, and then later look at ODEs, um, optical disk drive emulators. So, you know, for example, the Saturn has the Fenrir and the Phoebe, which are like, um, you know, um, mod they're, they're mod modified, um, modifications. They're just called mods. So you can play, um, Saturn games off uh, SD cards off the real hardware without damaging the optical drive so I mean in my opinion that's like the ideal because the games are just gonna become like inaccessible or too expensive so technically so long as you're playing off actual hardware you know what I mean He wrecked my ass Of course, Nanaki has the life magic and he's dead. Damn it. Why is the shift? Just like that. There we go. Imagine completely following the low level run. Which would mean having no materia either. That would be gross. That would also mean no stealing of items. That would be... Harsh. That would be harsh. the console corps are going to come up to twitch for emulators uh no no because how do you prove it and if they if they kept um coming up to people eventually like it would it would um engender so much ill will towards the company that i don't think people would like support the company and you, you might think um oh nah sure sure like, people are going to play games no matter what, but 
it would severely damage their bottom line if they just went up to normies. They all eventually desire to put all of their stuff on, like, um, you know, paywall stores, you know, like PlayStation Online or blah blah blah, and basically make us rent our games. But it's like, motherfucker, cat's out of the bag. We've already got, like, hundreds of gigs of ROMs. And, and these are going to be distributed for all time. You can't get them out of the system now. So if you're trying to just like paywall everything and then come after the little guy, it's just not going to work. It will go underground, but people will still be able to get what they want. If it gets to the point where it's like, okay, you know, you need to prove that you have the, the original, otherwise you can't, you know, do stuff on Twitch. Um, I think Twitch would die. I think Twitch would die. You can't survive off the, um, the hot tub thoughts. I'm sorry. It would be impossible. Alright, so here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Cave of the Gi. I'm going to do one more Fort Condor battle. And then that will be it for today. And I'll come back tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. It wouldn't be insignificant. But, um... We're still, like... In terms of, like, uh, legislation... I feel like it's still like the Wild West. Like the DMCA was like in the very early 2000s. They're gonna have to do something about it. And I feel like they just, they don't know what. They don't know what. Can I steal anything from you? Sneaky step. Sneaky step. Sneaky bitch. FF7. Scratchy wiki. Sneaky step. Okay. They have a very nice item, but you have to fight and win against them. They drop M tentacles. I was thinking about a solution for Vaporwave virus to sell tracks with samples. Um, it would never happen. It, 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 um, the, the Preston for allowing, like, a Vaporwave artist to sell things with, like, samples. Um, it cuts out too many of the original artists. They would never allow it. It also cuts out the, the labels of those original artists who would never allow it. As we know, the RIAA is one of the most litigious organizations in the world. It, it just wouldn't happen. Like, I like Vaporwave because it allows young artists to ply their craft and they can't say, oh, you can't, you can't use this music because, I mean, they sample the shit out of it and they can't sell it themselves. I like to think of um, that as like a stepping stone for young emerging artists or people that just want to, you know, drop a Vaporwave soundtrack for free for the masses, you know? I've, I've always viewed Vaporware as like something that should not be paid for. I'm sorry. I don't consider it like a quote unquote true music. Like it's, its whole thing was just like, you know, copy paste, copy paste turn up the, the pitch, turn down the pitch, and then you got some vapor away. So, you know. I don't think it's that hard to take. It it mocked corp um uh consumerism. That that was the whole thing, right? It's uh making a mockery of uh, capitalism and consumerism in our society. But there are people that were saying, oh no 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 that's like you know a specific brand of like uh vaporwave. No 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 there there are these there are these new guys, and uh, they're making new 
new vapor oh it's, it's going it's going to be called n new vapor new vapor and those guys they deserve your money because it's oh so different no it's not it's the same shit they shouldn't it should be paid for full stop if people want to donate to a vaporwave artist to keep them going so that they make you know vaporwave tracks that's different and that already exists with a band camp but again, it's like a very fine line because they can't sell the work because of all the samples in it. I mean, you couldn't go to a label and say, here is my music. I'm a vape boy artist. They'd be like, the fuck? We, we can't license any of this. Like, what are you doing? My solution was edging towards a vape wave artist needing to sell a customer a copy of the original track. Or the customer proving they own the source track. Then there is no debate about the artists enriching themselves at the expense of the original artist. Again, like if you use a sample from an original artist without paying them, and you're then saying, oh no, no, like I don't need to pay them, but paying me, like no, that doesn't fly. Which is why I like the fact that in Vaporwave, there is an understanding that you can't make money off this shit. Well, a general understanding. It's also why it's not so popular. People want to make money all the time. Good on them. But Vaporwave is not where you make money. Vaporwave is where you try to get some clout and then get signed. AKA Flamiosis. AKA Macross 85-97. AKA Skylar Spence. AKA, what's his name? There's another guy. Clay. Clayton. Can't remember his name. He made like one track, so I don't really know his name so, so well. FM Skyline doing original stuff now. If they're doing original stuff, that's fine. Like, um, uh, Windows 96. He's considered Vaporwave, but I would also say that, like, his work is completely original too. If he wants to charge, go ahead. And he has been ever since. But like, if we're talking like Vaporwave Vaporwave, not like Vaporwave artists that are doing original shit, because there is a distinction. Like remember Enmesh, who was like an established artist or like um, the person that did um, Echo Jams. Like, the person that did Echo Jams has gone on to collaborate with, um, contemporary, um, indie artists. So... Yeah. Vaporwave adjacent. Yeah. So, like I say, there's nothing wrong with making your name in Vaporwave and then moving out and, and doing original shit that, like, I guess could be considered, like, like you say, Vaporwave adjacent. But Vaporwave at its heart is hardcore sampling of stuff and not a lot of effort like it's it's um based on like the the funky groove and originality of the samples that they use mixed in with some you know modern production techniques but then like you can't sell it because you, you've got to pay for the samples you, you simply can't release it if you if you don't do that it is, it is a, a lot. So, for example, this stream here. This stream here. When I tell people I don't want to monetize, they're like fucking shocked. They're like, what? But like, you know, time is money, you're worth it. It's like, no, I mean, my viewpoint is very different. I feel like with Vaporwave Arts, they need to get on board with that realization. Not everything has to be for money. And if you try to make it, um, you know, if you try to get a buck out of it, you'll find very quickly that you'll get your ass sued. Because you're, you're usually using other people's work. So, use the genre to get a bit of clout, make some nice music, and then get out while the getting's good. 
That's how I think a lot of artists should approach it. Um, I want that treasure. How do I get the treasure? Middle? Maybe this one. I think... What does this thing have? I think he's got... Oh, did I do a boo-boo? Okay, oh. Whenever I get a whiff of a streamer doing things with money as a prime motivation, it spoils it. Yeah. But I mean, that's why a lot of people do get into it. Like, you know, fucking... Don donation goals prominently on screen, like, you know. Let's go. Uh, I need to get 10 more uh, subs by the end of the month. Otherwise, dot, dot, dot. Let's go. Hype train, let's go. Give me money, bits. Let's, let's go. Come on, guys. I don't know if I can keep going if we don't get enough donations. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, $2 gets you 10 more minutes. Come on, let's go. Like, no. Absolutely not. Count me out. Count me out. Count me out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's even worse. Like, uh, pay for my bills. Like, uh... Like a rent a thon, like a, I I mismanage my money and I need your money now. Let's go. It's it's gross. Um, right, the guide. Okay, so did I mess up? Yeah, one of them. One of them. Okay. By my existence. Transactional interaction. I will only read off chat if it's a fucking super chat or a personal donation. If you just did a highlight your message for 100 points, channel points, then you are an idiot. I'm not going to look at it. You know, shit like that. It gets, it gets really gross. And um, the way that you can figure out people, whether or not, you know, they're in it just for the financials, just lurk their channel and just like suss out their vibe. It's pretty easy, like after like a stream or two to suss out a person's vibe. Like if they're just like hungry for that dollar, like it will it'll be apparent. And even if you like them, it's like oh, this, this sort of behavior, I don't know. On that note, they need to set channel point redeems at a high enough price and then actually read them. I mean, like, there are some, like, yeah. So there are actually a lot of um, channels that do not like the channel point system at all. And, um, I can see that. Like, they don't want to be obligated to fucking, you know, you know, like, 10,000 points to do jumping jacks. They don't want to be forced by the public to do, like, you know. They can set the goals, but at the same time, it's like, they don't want to have to be put in that position. And I can understand that. Don't do it for 100 channel points, make it 10,000 if you will then actually read them. Yeah, that's if, that's if, um, you know, if, if the chat is going slow enough for them to pick it up or if their mods are, are quick enough to point it out to them. Anyways, there are mandatory, um, enemies during this, um, fight and I just need to figure out who to allocate the XP to. Probably to Aerith. People doing push-ups and squats, just silly. If you make the, the redeem high enough and um, you're a relatively fit person, then, you know, I think it's good. Hmm. I think it can be good. But, you know. You know. Alright. So, Stinger. Okay, so they, they do talk about... Okay, there's a couple. Is it only the one that they talk about? Yeah, you have to take out a couple of spiders. So they are they just talking about the one spider? Hmm. Cloud and red throw Molotovs and have Aerith defend. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Right. Okay, so Aerith needs to stay alive, but Red X and Cloud gotta die. That's fair enough.
Kill them, sons of bitches. So, do I... Yeah. Sled Fang. Sense. And defend. Because I've got a secret weapon. Type. Healing Moon. But I can also throw a Molotov. Please stop targeting my Wanda. Attack. Okay, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now this is good, this is good. Yeah, do it, Cloud, do it, do it. I don't, I don't want to waste the, the right arms that I've been uh, accumulating. Are you dead? No. Close to death. Yeah, you can do a slow thing. Good boy. Yeah. Dead. Good. Molotov. Come on. You clap. No. 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 Damn it. Uh. Good. Here you are. Eat a Molotov, bitch. Is that enough? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Rabbit gouge. I didn't like that. And you might think, oh, it's only 250. Let's move. Certain material over. Yeah, we'll ship that. Easy. Okay. Okay. So there's right. There's there's two two mandatory spideys that we have to fight. We don't have to fight the other one. Shit. G Spectre. G Spectre. I want to see what these uh, things drop. Like, is it worth it trying to farm some of these things? Because you can't come back to the Cave of the Gi. Nope. Is there anything here that's nice? It's all pretty bad. Nope, it's all gross. They do have the spell Death Sentence, which I would like. And it's only one G Spectre. It's only one tiny little little G Spectre. But the XP might push me over. I can't risk it. 
Yeah, 260 uh, XP. I can't risk it. I gotta run away. characters. Turbo Ether. I can't sell it, but it's in this situation, it should be okay. Alright. Now, I was trying to get a little bit of treasure. Can I please get my treasure? Thank you. Fairy ring. Uh, hmm. Fairy inconsequential, but whatever. that one I can't is it linked up to Ooh. Ooh. Excellent. Go for those two, please. I don't think many would work. Might as well use one of these. Because the plan is to use one right arm. Come on, get Nanaki. That's a good one. Give me a chop. Go for my dog. Thank you. Obey my dog. Endure it. Damn it. Go for the others. Yes. Maybe, I guess, soften up a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Do it again. Do it again. Soften him up. Stop going for... Just do it. That's it. 
attack. Defend. Ooh, baby. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted I, I forgot the um the button combination to cancel like the cure all. I just wanted to cure one person. Thank you very much. But the game was like, fuck are you! Burn him with fire. Make him understand. Thank you. Was that so hard? Now eat this. What's the other thing? Can I even get to it? I don't think I can. Um, what am I missing? Should be fine. Should be fine. I'll just use right arms. The right arm should work. And I'll give like the, an extra little bit of XP to Aerith. Because otherwise we can't access that area. Shogunite. I think, I think it's acceptable. Because remember... Ares is basically like an XP dump, and she gone back. She gone back. She gone Through here. Have one of them. Just in case, I'm gonna give him another. Right now, first. Yeah. 
Don't do that rabbit choke thing. Alright, you did. Bye bye. Alone. I wish I'd known. I wouldn't have gone for it if it was just the next potion. Okay, so, you would think, oh, I'll use this, but I can get 750 gil for that. This is only one. Do I even give her magic? Because technically, um, according to the guide, Oh, wow. Okay, okay. This is something that I didn't even know. Okay. There's a way to kill this guy um, in one shot. This is uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Check this out. I'm not sure if the same would happen with the Phoenix Down, but Elixir fucks this thing up. Who would have known? Yeah. Ares is gonna be like the designated XP dump. Use of that. Okay. Can she get one, one healing? It doesn't matter at this stage. Because we're going to rest soon. Gravity, ye. This is where uh, Nanaki drinks his father's tears. His 500 year old petrified tears. Oh, uh, it's probably not 500 years ago.
drink the tears. Ow. Ow. Nom nom nom. Get Sando and soup cooking time. Yeah. We're gonna do the battle at Fort Condor and then we're gonna call it. So uh enjoy your Sando and soup life. I might be, but I might not be. I'm getting very close. Mm -hmm. I'm so close. Mm -hmm. Shall we get going? Okay. There he is. Uh, Yuffie, because she's really good stealing shit. Come back whenever you need the knowledge. Okay. A uh, hundred dollars uh, for the inn. It's a, it's a tall order, but I'll take it. Usually, I would say nope. But this is just to get everyone straight. Aries level 13. Mm, Alright. Go back to Fokondo. Do you really have to? Yes, you do, son. But I don't want to. Doesn't matter what you want. It's what must be done. I mean, the material is basically just de decoration at this point, but it can be useful, you know, for curing. I've got to figure out how to take off target now, because I did it in a blind panic trying to figure out how to, like, change a multi targeting spell to a single target spell. Alright, I'll try it with here. Ah. Found it. It was the, um, the right trigger button. So that'd be like what R2. Who's skedaddle? You've caught me near the end, but I'm I'm yeah, I'll stick around for a little bit longer. We're doing um putting some work towards um the Final Fantasy 7 low level run. So uh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hope that you're well. I am sleepy. I'm getting very sleepy. It's already been 20 to 2 a.m. where I am. But yes. Not only are we trying to go for the low level challenge, Chivo, but we are also trying to get the Fort Condor one. Which is very annoying. We have to go back and forth, back and forth. But uh, it is what it is. At least we can use the uh, fast forward. Yeah, yeah. 
the four condor battles usually are like five minutes because of my strategy which has been further improved by the tips from uh, Musen a couple of streams back. I do honestly feel like every time I play this game, I uh, learn something new. Skedaddle? Eh. There you go. Yes. Alright. Back to it. Well, let me do... Let me know when you do stream. Or start streaming. My shoutouts will, will turn you into a... Uh, a sensation on Twitch overnight, I'm sure. My small busted ass shout outs will, will be what push you over the edge. No worries. Uh, for Kondo, yeah, we'll save over the top of this one. Sure, sure, sure. Maybe one day you'll get the bug. I don't know. The streamer's bug. That's fair. That's fair. Oof. Oh, um, speaking of which, um, if you look in my About tab, um, I did some work today where I, um, basically I made three articles on my website which detail my game library for my Steam account, my GOG, and my Epic Games. So, yeah. If anyone could push me over the edge... <laughs> I'll take this as a compliment. Um, so, should I save here? Or did I already just save? I think I already just saved. You need 4,000 in order to do the battles. We have more than enough. Let us do the battle. This technique that Mew um, showed us to push the line further down, it's so good. I'm ready. A strong unit. 30 units. Oh, yeah. I'll be sure to fight approximately five of them maximum. here then just keep pushing it down then another one another one bites dust and then two here no just just the one here and two here three And three here. This strat is so hectic. Just messes them up so quickly, I love it. Alright, 
at their own position there. Okay, and just like last time, I'm going to intercept them. So good. Oh, my right side guy is gonna. Mm. Hopefully, the wyvern is uh, tempted to go for the right side. He is good, finally. Boys, boys, keep moving. Keep moving. Bum, bum. There we go. Okay, three is good enough. The one up top was mainly just to push the line down. up with his bros later. Chop chop. Give him that chop. Disgusting. Give him the chop, bro. Give him the chop, bro. Did you see how quick that was, bro? Yeah, it did, bro. That was sick, bro. Oh my god, bro. Get the camera, mum. Give him that good shot. Move down here so there's no more that can spawn there. I think uh, I counted four there, mate. I think I counted four there. Okay, two thousand. Yeah, yeah. What do you got? Yeah, yeah. Oh, potion. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, they give you one potion. I mean, five potion. Okay. The next time I have to come back here is after talking to Shera, but before speaking to the captain. In other words, this is, um, I have to reach uh, Rocket Town. So from uh, Cosmo Canyon, I will go to Nibelheim and then through Mount Nibel and then um, the Materia Keeper. So this will be one of the few times... Oof. There was a, a hoon on the main road, like... You know, like... Yeah. Doing that at 2 in the morning. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Yes. So this is like, after we reach Rocket Town, so... Cosmo Canyon, which we've just done. We go to Nibelheim, Shinra Mansion, all that bullshit. Mount Nebel. Then at the end of Mount Nebel, we fight the Materia Keeper. And the Materia Keeper is one of the few enemies that not only has um, a good enemy skill, but we are allowed to defeat it. So at the moment, we have two enemy skill. If we equip uh, one on one on two people yeah I don't think it matters if they die during the battle just 
just so long as you win the battle and it was inflicted on them. Yeah. So that will give us at least one good enemy skill, Trine, which is only 20 um, magic points. So I'm looking forward to that. In fact, I might just uh, go to Nibbleheim. And then, like, end the stream there. It just seems logical, you know? So, so far, of the 15 mandatory battles to get this achievement, we've done six of them. We're on target, thankfully. I did a lot of behind the scenes work today. Like, I could have started streaming way earlier. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'll wake up early again tomorrow. May 30th. You might think that's not early at all, but... Actually, like today I woke up at um, 3.30. That was like way fucking early. So, uh... Yeah, we won't, we won't be doing that again. I'll wake up at 8.30, I'll have breakfast. Have a bit of a relax, have a bit of a chill, have a bit of a coffee, and then start streaming and just do like a huge, huge Final Fantasy 7 stream for tomorrow. So for all of the Americans that watch me, your schedule compared to mine is basically flipped. So if I start sometime like, I don't know, 10? It'll probably be about 10 p.m. your time ish. So I'm for the people that can't sleep, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, through here. Do 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 do. It's 1 p.m. now in the uh, Midwest USA. At the moment, it's uh, almost five minutes to 2 a.m. So yeah, it's, it's roughly, roughly opposite. If we're being technical, like it's uh, almost 2 on the 28th. So how much is that? 13 hours? Or is it 11 hours? I don't want to do math at this stage of the night. I don't want to do any math. Num 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 num. Do 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 do. So he was able to fit this uh, buggy on the ship, or maybe th this. No, no, because, like, we were able to use the buggy over on the other side. They don't account for that. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Uh-oh. They have, um... They do have an instant death attack, I'm pretty sure. Like, as in a party wipe attack. That's why I hate those enemies. I'm pretty sure they have a party wipe attack. Oh, beach plugs. Oh. 
I want to fight them to get big guard. I feel like big guard would help so much. Certain battles, but... If there's like a possibility before the Temple of the Ancients, and like um, Aerith is like well like under the level 28, then I'll probably like, I'll be searching out certain enemies for the enemy skill. Because having the enemy skill is just like, it'll be so good. Having, you know, White Wind, Big Guard, Death Sentence, Trine, Aqualung, Beta, that'd be so good. That would be Litty. I'd honestly like to keep going, but I can't. Like, I gotta cut it. It's, it's 2 a.m. I gotta be responsible at all. After you get Kate Sith Manipulate, I always went back to Del Sol Beach. Yeah, yeah. And, um... The Zem let thing, the the big, the big thing with the flappy wings near Fort Condor, that's got white wind. So, yeah. When you get manipulated, it's like, oh baby. But um, in order to keep the um enemy skill, you have to defeat the enemy. Cool, 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 cool. I will see you here. Almost here. Yeah. I'm just gonna park it here. Drop that save. Excellent.